Hey guys, it's Mike here from the Geek Zone, back again with another video. And before I get into it, I just wanted to thank my partners at Synology who have made it possible. And we're going to be bringing you a video today on how to share and how to create file request links on a Synology NAS. Uh, before I get into the video, I'm going to talk a fair bit about FileStation. So I should explain what FileStation is. FileStation is the inbuilt uh, file explorer windows within DSM. Uh, opening a couple of them allows you to drag and drop between windows and manage your files in a um, system or OS agnostic environment. And what I mean by that is that you can actually move files, copy, cut, paste over the internet on your NAS without being directly inside of your own network. And that's the beauty of FileStation within DSM. So without further ado, let's get into this video and learn how to share and how to request files to be shared with you via Synology NAS, specifically the DS216 Play today. Okay, so let's go and open up our web browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but you can use whatever you prefer. And now let's go to the DSM and make sure to log in with an account that has admin privileges. All right, now that I've logged in, we can navigate to FileStation, we can create a folder to share, and then you can either click on create and create folder, or you can right click in the folder window and select create that way. I'm going to name my folder picture share. Uh, so click through to the newly created folder and you'll notice it is empty. So let's go and add some files. I'll just move my browser window out of the way so I can see the folder on my desktop. And then it's as simple as just dragging and dropping the files. So let's just navigate back up one folder. And then by right clicking on our folder, we intend to share, we can select share from the list down towards the bottom. Here you will be presented with a window called Shared Links. This is where we can specify all of the details about the folder you are sharing from the time of validity to who can access and how. You'll notice that there is a link under the Share Link box. This is what you need to provide to anyone who will be accessing the share over the internet. Let's just copy that to the clipboard for the moment. This will only work if you already have set up Quick Connect. If you don't have this feature already set up, then I'll show you quickly how to do that. From the desktop of the DSM, Click on the control panel and under connectivity section, the first option should be Quick Connect. Click on that. Once through to the Quick Connect page, you will need to tick the box to enable Quick Connect. This feature requires an active Synology account, which you can register for free online. I suggest doing that if you have not done so already. And once both of these things are done, you'll be able to complete the setup of Quick Connect, um, including specifying a unique identifier for the NAS. Now we can paste that link we copied into the browser. Now you can see we're taken to the shared folder we created earlier. There you can see each of the pictures we dragged into the folder using FileStation. From there we can choose to either download them individually or the entire folder at once. Okay, so now that we have learned how to share files and folders over the internet, let's also find out how we can easily have someone share files with us over the internet by using similar features called file request. All right, so once again, from the desktop of the DSM, let's navigate to the file station and find somewhere in the directory we'd like to have the files we request to be shared with us dropped. Let's create a new folder. I'm gonna call this one drop files. Again, we just right click on the folder, but this time we select create file request. Like last time, we presented with a window where we can configure the specifics about the share. You can enter your name in and leave a message for those who are sharing with you. Let's copy that link to the clipboard so we can test it out. Click save. Now let's open another browser window and paste the link. You can see here what others who visit the link will see. They have some options like entering their name for easy identification and a place to drop the files they want to share. So let's do that. I'll drag one of the pictures from earlier and click upload. You can see a green tick once it's been completed. Now let's go back to FileStation and see if the file made it into the NAS. Navigating to the folder and entering in, you can see there is a new subfolder called Random Guy, and in brackets, my name. This shows us who dropped the files into the folder and who the request was re created by. Clicking through, we can see the file that we dropped in via the web browser. It's so super simple. If we click on the picture, it opens the file using the inbuilt image viewer and we can navigate through the images without needing to download them to see what they are, which is really handy. 
Now, a great example of why file request links is such a useful feature is that, for instance, if a file that needs to be shared with you is, say, too large for email or the person sending the file doesn't have a cloud sharing account with another provider like Google or Dropbox, it simply allows them to visit the link and share the file with you without the need of setup of an account or go through any other difficult or complicated process while depositing the file directly onto your NAS. Okay, so let's talk about how we can manage the shared links. For all DSM users, you can click Tool um, and then view all the links that created on the DSM and those shared with you. This is very helpful if you found the links broken or you want to readjust the password and validity settings. Share links are simple and convenient, but if you're an administrator in studios or businesses, you'd probably like to have better control of the links. So click on Tools button and then go to Shared Links. Here you can see the shares we have created in this tutorial and some others. We can also from here click through to make changes to those shares on the fly, etc. For example, change the password or just set one for that matter, specify who has access and for how long the link will be available. There's heaps of flexibility with these options. For more advanced management of shares and the permissions around shares, navigate to settings from a file station window and head across to the shared links tab from the settings window. Here you can choose to allow specific users to create the links and set a maximum number of links that users can create. Advanced security options of links allow flexible security level. If you'd like to make the links with some branding options when you're sharing files with your customers, you can always customize the background and logo that will be applied to all file sharing links. This is a great feature for adding that extra touch of professionalism. Simply just scroll to the bottom, down to the custom section, tick the box for customize shared link page, click on custom settings button and change what you like. I'll show you how it looks by adding in a custom logo and background. The great part is what that you can preview without the need to go back and forth and see how these changes are reflected on the shared link itself. I should mention that all of these more advanced features are only available by someone with an administrator account. So to recap what we've spoken about in this video, We've gone over the DSM really briefly and what that entails. We've talked about sharing files via links, the simple ways to create folders and to drag and drop files simply by using FileStation. To be able to share our links over the LAN or over the internet using Quick Connect, we've been able to collect files, which is like reverse sharing. We create an empty folder for someone to share their files with us by directly depositing them onto our NAS through a specific link we created. We can brand our shared link page. We can specify how long our links are valid for and who can access them. And we can use link management to make changes to these links on the fly or repair broken links if we find them. Okay guys, so once again, I just wanted to thank my partners at Synology for making this video possible. Uh, if this video has been helpful to you, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, um, share it with your friends on social media. Uh, also subscribe to me as I'm gonna be continuing to produce uh, content with Synology and I do lots of other technology-based videos and um, I love everybody who comes to my channel. I try to respond to everybody I can and uh, if you are new, welcome and I hope to see you around again and as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.